Hello, and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of October 5th, 2020. As you know, I have been requesting for some viewer footage, that was some content from my viewers, to add to my videos of their surroundings and how bad it has gotten since this COVID-19 pandemic has started and since the Congress has been playing games with our money. I may actually have, hopefully, some footage from a viewer of mine in a, a, a few days that I can add to my video. He's sending it to my Dropbox and I will actually put the link to my Dropbox down below so in case you have any video footage you wish to share that I can put in my videos to share with everyone else, you're more than welcome to. And besides that, we also all know so I'm going to start my stimulus package right now here. Well, <laughs> my stimulus talks, should I say, because it's like a nego negotiation with, with my viewers whether they like, they like what I say or not. <laughs> but okay, my negotiations are simple. As we all know, Donald Trump and the First Lady have been tested positive for COVID-19. Donald Trump has been put in Walter Reed Medical Center, and on Sunday, he decided to do a drive-by waving to his supporters. That's right, he wanted to infect the staff inside the car just to wave hi to his supporters. Isn't that nice of him? And also, Chief of Staff Mark Meadows says that Donald Trump says that he is more than ready to start a normal work schedule. And Mark Meadows happens to agree with that assessment from Donald Trump. And Donald Trump's doctors are being, I'm guessing told to hold back certain information because other people say that uh, Donald Trump's COVID-19 is a bit more severe than he lets on. So basically the medical information that has been leaking out that's saying that he's fine to turn back to work has been falsified to, probably by order of the president for some sort of, I don't know, so they don't get terminated from a job or lose a license or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. This is also just supposition, so like I said, it's just supposition, so I'm just guessing on the whole him telling the medical professional what to do. And rumors are also floating around that Mark Meadows will also be sticking his head into the stimulus check and the stimulus package negotiations between Nancy Pelosi and um, Schumer. No, wait. Nah, not Schumer. Mnuchin. Stephen Mnuchin. I know to remember his name eventually. <laughs> um, because in the past four stimulus packages, it's only been Nancy Pelosi and uh, Mnuchin that's been dealing, doing the whole negotiation talks because Mark Meadows has not been present. And as we all know, Mark Meadows, in earlier episodes, I have reported that Mark Meadows is a hothead and is known to blow up stimulus negotiations. So basically, we want to keep Mark Meadows out of all stimulus negotiations, this way we actually might get a stimulus check. He is also saying that uh, they should do piecemeal legisla legislation, which basically means that he wants to do it pe like piece by piece instead of a whole package. And I do believe uh, the Republicans and the Democrats don't want to do it that way because they believe it might compromise their negotiation tactics, if, if any. Let's see here. The Democrats in the House are demanding that Pelosi accept the Republicans' counteroffer for $1.62 trillion. And the Senate would be in session, but they decided to take two weeks off since three of their members have come down with COVID-19. As well as I saw a story stating how Trump is planning to share his experience of having COVID-19 with the world. And I have one thing to say about that. Trump, keep your COVID-19 to yourself. No one wants it. But of course we all know the Republicans, as well as Donald Trump himself, believes that COVID-19 is a hoax. Well, let's see if he believes it now. And Nancy Pelosi said on CBS on Sunday that the lawmakers are making progress. That's right. The lawmakers, I'm guessing Mnuchin and Pelosi, are making progress on stimulus, the stimulus talks. Just not fast enough progress. 
because the people need a stimulus check for money to put in their stomachs now, not in two weeks when we have 10,000 people who died from starvation. Wow. <sighs> Trump has continued, been telling the Republicans to increase the money on the stimulus talks. And the reason behind that is, is because it all comes back to America anyways. In one way or another. And basically the Blue Dog Coalition, which is a caucus of Democrats in the House of Representatives, they delivered a letter to Nancy Pelosi over the weekend telling her to accept the counteroffer because it is it may not be perfect, but it is good enough to help the people out. Because the counteroffer gives a second stimulus check. It gives an extension to unemployment. It gives small businesses and business owner and the, the self-employed more paycheck protection money as well as other benefits to the people. And let's see here. But they said Pelosi is basically uh, not going to compromise her position. She wants her 2.2 trillion, even though the counter offer is only 600 billion shy of her her total request. The Democrats are saying that the no, I told you about that. The, they're saying the counter offer is not perfect, but it's good enough for the people. It's good enough for them, so they can get it passed because they want to help the people out. Currently, the Democrats are awaiting the Republicans to come up with a better and more um, formal stimulus offer. And as you all know, we have, we've, we've been seeing out there a lot of massive wide state uh, wide layoffs. And the airlines started to do uh, furloughs on uh, October 1st. And they say that they, they're going to furlough tens of thousands of people and they are planning a large scale layoff because the, the COVID 19 pandemic has hurt them really bad. Pelosi has told them to hold off on their layoffs and furloughs because help is coming via the stimulus package. Well, should I say via stimulus? Well, let's put it this way. She tried to pass a standalone bill to bail out the airlines, and it got rejected by the Republicans. So that really helps out the airlines, doesn't it? And in the Senate, Mitch McConnell sent all the senators home because three of their members have contracted COVID-19. Well, in all fairness, the Senate hasn't really been doing any work anyways because Chuck Schumer, the... Um, Leader of the Democrats in the Senate invoked that two hour rule that says that the Senate has to stay in session for two hours, then past that, they have to go home for the rest of the day. So, as you know, the Senate has not been working for the people for eight hours a day or more, only for two hours a day, which doesn't accomplish a whole lot of nothing. And I will request, and like I said, I hopefully soon will have some viewer content from one of my subscribers that I will in insert into my video so you guys can see how bad it really is in the area he's at. I will tell you where he's at. In other words, state and city. That's about the best I can do. And you'll also see his name come across the video as well so you know exactly who it is because he is one of my subscribers and it's the least I can do for my subscribers to, is to put their face on my page to let the world know how bad it is really going out there so maybe it'll get back to the Senate and the House of Representatives so they'll get off their butts and do something to help the people out. But before I continue on rambling on and boring you guys, I think I will end my broadcast right now and, let you, and wish you guys a very happy and magnificent Monday. Please stay safe out there and remember, we're all in this together. You guys have a great Monday.